Living in Ohio, Michigan and Indiana this time of year, you see cornfields just about everywhere you turn. And as we enter that peak growing season, corn crops can actually have an interesting impact on the weather forecast. In this week's Climate Friday newsletter, we're going to talk about evapotranspiration. In other words, how corn can affect the humidity. Now, evapotranspiration sounds like a big word, but it's an awfully simple explanation. Essentially, it has to do with how corn and other crops can impact our humidity levels by emitting moisture. Now evapotranspiration has to do with crops releasing water into the atmosphere or corn sweat. That's a very easy way of putting it. Just like you and I sweat if we're outside going for a walk or a bike ride, the corn crop sweats as well, releasing moisture into the atmosphere. Now evapotranspiration has two parts. The first one of these is what is known as transpiration, and that is where the corn sweats out moisture. That's the easiest way of describing it. Moisture is lost, and when that moisture goes into the air, it becomes muggier and more humid. Now the second part to evapotranspiration, and it's in the name, that's evaporation which you may remember from learning about the water cycle back in school. This has more to do with the soil or the ground as there's excess moisture that seeps out and that goes into the atmosphere. And this time of year as we enter mid to late July, evapotranspiration is in full swing. Now there are several different weather factors that can either increase or decrease the rate of evapotranspiration. The first one of these is the winds. Steady winds increase the rate of evapotranspiration and you likely have experienced this firsthand. If you're outside on a breezy summer day, even if it's hot, even if it's humid, that breeze makes a difference in how it feels. It cools you off, doesn't it? In the same way, a steady wind can increase the rate of evapotranspiration and cause more of that moisture to be lost from the corn into the air that we breathe. Now, humidity levels also play a role. Low humidity in the air means more corn sweat. In other words, if the air is dry, that corn is going to make it a little bit muggier and vice versa if we have a muggy, humid air mass in place. High humidity in the air means less transpiration as a rule because the air is already more saturated. Think about it in terms of relative humidity. If that humidity level is 80, 90, or even 100%, there's just nowhere for that moisture to go, so the corn really is not able to release any excess moisture. Now, the ground and the soil can also play a role in that. Irrigation, I'm sure you see those irrigators running full steam this time of year. Irrigation can also cause more water to evaporate from the soil. Remember, that's the second part to our definition. If there's a lot of water in the soil, in excess of it, in fact, from both rainfall and the irrigation, it's got nowhere to go but up. So the water cycle is going to do its thing and evaporation causes that excess water to seep up into the air. And what that does is it makes it feel muggier. So even on a relatively dry day, if you've had a lot of rain and a lot of irrigation, that water can contribute to an increase in humidity levels via evapotranspiration. Now, let's just say the soil is brown and dry. I know this time of year we do need the rainfall, and for many folks, it's been a dry summer so far. Dry soil will conserve more water and cause less water to evaporate, and that intuitively makes sense because if it's been dry and we've been devoid of rainfall or the irrigators aren't running on full steam, well, the soil needs to retain that moisture for the growth of the corn crop. So dry brown soil generally means that you're going to have less evapotranspiration. Hopefully this helps explain evapotranspiration. It's not just a phenomenon in corn, but a number of different crops can have it. Those oak trees and a number of different trees and vegetation, even cacti can evapotranspirate with this interesting meteorological phenomenon. Once again, evapotranspiration, corn sweat and humidity. It's a big word, but a simple explanation on how the corn crop and growing season impacts your weather at home and makes it feel more humid. Now, that's why late July and August are the muggiest feeling times of the year not just because of the air itself, but because of the corn crop that contributes to evapotranspiration. Whatever the weather has in store, the WTOL 11 weather team will keep you safe and updated. And tune in next week for a new Climate Friday newsletter.